from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace and peace to you all in the darkness of Savik. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, I am Samson Fan. It is my honor to be one of your canon theologians of Savik Cathedrals. First of all, I would like to say thank you to Dean Andrew for giving me this opportunity to share with you all something from my side of the Anglican Communion. I am based in All Saints Cathedral in the Diocese of Western Kowloon, one of three cathedrals in the province of Hong Kong, where I am dean. Hong Kong, being close to the outbreak in Wuhan, has been tackling the coronavirus since the end of January. All schools has been suspended since the Chinese New Year holiday and have only resumed recently. During the past five months, nearly all teaching has been done through the internet. The population of around 7 million in Hong Kong having gone through the SARS epidemic in 2003, were quick to react to the advising infection. In early February, Church services were suspended and social distancing was regulated by the government. We resumed our public services on the last week on the first day of June. Trinity Sunday was our first public Sunday worship after the pandemic. Many parishioners returned with joy because finally we could meet each other face to face again. Sunday services have not been held for more than four months and we longed for the time when we could return to public worship, in particular for the holy moment we could participate in communion again. We will never forget the year 2020 in our lives. History will definitely record this year as memorable. Plague was once a concept far away from cosmopolitan cities. We never imagined this crisis would happen to us all in our lifetime. Our church will remember this land, Holy Week, and Easter season too. The Eucharist is the core of our spiritual and liturgical lives. Because of the epidemic, we have not been able to gather together to receive Holy Communion. It has been an abnormal period in our spiritual lives, a time of spiritual fasting. Although church services were suspended, the church never stopped functioning simply because we, the people, are the church. We have had, however, more time for solitude. In our daily busy schedule, we often miss what is important, things we may not consider a priority. For example, our spiritual growth. During the social distancing period, we have produced the a video daily called Walk with the Word, some biblical readings and reflections according to our nationary. Many church members volunteered to record Bible readings happily at home. Some contributed in artwork, some in translation. Although we were separated in different locations, we were united in our ministry. Here is the reading from the Epistles of St. James, chapter 1, verse 2 to 4. 我的弟兄们,你们若在百般思念中,都要以为大喜乐,因为知道你们的信心经过试验,就生忍耐,但忍耐也当成功,使你们成全完备,毫无缺陷。My brothers and sisters, Whenever you face the trials of any kind, consider it nothing but joy, because you know that the testing of your faith produces endurance, and let endurance have its full effect, so that you may be mature and complete, lacking in nothing. We all know that Hong Kong is facing many kinds of challenges today. During this difficult time, the wisdom from St. James is ever more timely a reminder. 
I believe the impact of the pandemic will be long-term and far-reaching, transforming our way of life, work, economy, and social conditions. But James reminds us to have faith in the Lord, to trust in Him wholeheartedly. This faith produced endurance allows us to laugh in the face of the storm. It is not enduring in a sense of waiting in passive pessimism. Quite the contrary, it can be the touchstone of our tried and tested faith, cultivated in us as unwavering trust in the Lord and in life. In our perseverance, we will become ready to take on any wave and be complete in the Lord, able to face the ever-changing landscape of life with joy in our hearts instead of falling victims in doubt, fear, anxiety, self-blame, digestion, desperation, scapegoating others, and fate. During the pandemic, we have seen many selfish acts because of fear and insecurity, but they are also examples of self-sacrificing love and care. In the resurrected life in Christ, it is the power in these self-sacrificial acts that let us see not only the glory of human nature, but also a glimpse of the divine. This is exactly when the risen Lord lives among us through word and deed. The light of resurrection fights against destiny. This light can influence our hearts and create hope. This is the witness we need most today. Amen.